everybody, it's Carla. I gotta adjust the camera. One second. Oh, I guess that's good enough. Hey, I want to do something that everybody's done, but I haven't done it yet, so I wanted to try this. I want to put these stickers on this and make an underwater -y, ocean -y kind of thing. And I want to first put the color on these and then put down this is bent funny hmm. Should, I hope that's gonna be okay okay I'm going on voiceover because this video was <laughs> almost two hours uh, it's a lot of work doing this so what I'm doing is I'm preparing the mold which has got a little bend in it and I'm gonna take those stamps and I'm going to put Let's Resin Mica Powder on the stamps um, before I put them into the mold so that when I put them in that will be the color up and right now I'm just doing a very traditional mermaid um, blue <laughs> and as this will be the first time that I've ever done this so I'm pretty excited about it and um, let's see here yeah I'm just what am I doing why am I oh I'm making her hair uh, gold and I'm using the let's resin gold um, powders metal powders I love those they're so much fun and the reason you saw me wiping off part of the hair, or that's her arm. <laughs> I didn't realize it. And so, oh yeah, and so then I'm putting a little bit of seashell white, um, which is a creamy white for her arms and her face, but there was a little gold on the brush, so her face has a little tan, and that's beautiful and fine. So that's where I'm placing her on the mold. And... I'm just going to go through and I've tried to be kind of traditional, you know, not not crazy yet. And I, yeah, I'm just doing those fish. Um, FYI, uh, for those of you that know about my rat mouse creatures that have taken over my home, um, I've gotten the traps and I've actually caught two of them now just tonight and it's kind of a pain in the rear though because I have to go outside with them and it's like 1 30 in the morning and I just had to take one out and I noticed that the later it gets at night the closer they are to the house when I let them out but um yeah so far I've caught two and I just what I did there um, I'll go back to this is I put some yellow on top of those fish and since this is not being painted directly onto the mold the first color that I put down is not necessarily the only color you're gonna see um, so that's why on those fish you'll see some blue and you'll see some yellow because um, the color that you put on last when you're doing this method is the color that you'll see so anyway um, yeah I feel really bad about the mice because I feel like I betrayed them you know kind of made friends with them and I thought I'm gonna feed them I'm gonna you know give them water and stuff so they don't have to get on my counters and they don't have to crawl through my food but you know after a few days they just went right back to it and um, I'm gonna have to go through my cupboards now and I heard him last night chewing on something in my closet and I was just like oh no 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 so they're traps that um, don't hurt them so I feel good about that yeah see how long this is taking if I didn't speed this up it'd be 23 minutes <laughs> of you just in here watching me piddle 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 diddle diddly dum you know trying to make up my mind and you know so now at this point what I'm doing is I'm going to pour a 
um, glitter heavy rim around this mold and so I'm putting lots of glitter in there lots and um, gonna it takes me longer than I think it's gonna take to do this because um, pouring it in it was a little bit messy and it was a little thick because I love the glitter love it love it love it um, yeah I <laughs> start shoveling it in like that so anyway back to regular Carla's voice all right now, I'm going to put some clear in here on top. Bubbles and all. I feel like I'm doing something backwards here. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but that's okay. That's how you learn. You know, you watch something, you watch people do stuff, and you think, I could do that. I'm going to try that. But sometimes you probably should watch it again. <laughs> Uh -huh. Ooh, I need to leave some space in there. All right, those rocks are not going anywhere, so I'm going to put some more rocks in. Down here at the bottom. Kind of grounds her in there, doesn't it? A little bit. Okay. not do this. I'm going to put a little bit of the pink glass I don't know why I'm going to do pink. Why am I doing pink? I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to do different colors. Just a little bit here and there. Not too much. Not to go crazy. And then I have this blue and I have some green that's really pretty. This blue is really pretty. Oof. Okay, I'm going to put some blue in here. Just a little bit. Well, I'm coming back to voiceover for a few minutes because this is pretty boring. I'm just talking to the colors and not even interesting. I'm just putting blue and green and those glass stones in there. And then I'm just going to be piddling around. So I thought I'd come back and tell you more about the mouse traps. They are 100% safe. They don't hurt them at all. Um, it's like a little tube that they run into. And so far, you know, I've caught two of them. Uh, I do feel guilty about, the, especially the youngest one that I just took out. Seemed pretty young, and uh, I don't know. I just, I just can't have him in my house anymore. But I am really feeling kind of gut wrenched over, over these little babies. Um, there's been a bigger one out here looking, I think, for the two. Because it's two so far that I caught are smaller, and um, hopefully they find each other and find a new home. Maybe somebody's, you know, trash cans. I don't know, but anyway, um, I'm just sprinkling in here, and I'm getting ready to go back over to I don't know something else. But I will be back. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's another day for me. It's a few seconds for you. And uh, even after a shower and washing my hands a ton of times, I still have the gold and the black on my hands from doing this. <laughs> from changing this little pukey 
This was the most disgusting looking skull I've ever seen or made. And then I turned it into this, but yeah, it did a number on my hands. So what we have is this is cured. I poured this after. So I'm going to unmold these for you right now. These two things I, I did just so you have a little something, something to hold you off till the end. <laughs> I know we all like to see the unmolding. I do too. I, don't, I just, it's like, even if I didn't make it, it's like Christmas. And <laughs> I love it. I get it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I had to do something technical and it actually um, turned off while I did it. Okay. Just a simple butterfly. But with the holograph. Oh my goodness. I love, I'll never get tired of this, especially, uh, this one is hard to see, but it's here, the reds, and, oh, I don't even know how that happens, and that's fine, because some, some magic just needs to be left alone. This one I poured after, and what I did was, I hope it's okay, <laughs> all right, I'm going to open this. And see what happened. And so far, it's real pretty. Oh, okay. Wow. I wasn't sure it would work the way I did it because I poured in the leftover uh, glitter stuff down here. And then I pushed in a ton of salt. A ton like just pushed it in and then I used the leftover um, coloring like I did with this butterfly to fill in the bottom. Hmm. Okay, well that's really, really, really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, so I showed you that. Okay, now let me, uh, let me flip this back the right way. grab my little pieces and toss them in my bowl. I'm going to be doing another recycling video really, 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 really soon because the, uh, the recycling containers are overflowing. <laughs> so, so far, this looks pretty good. The resin pulled, which it always will pull stuff to the middle, pulled all the glitter that I had put in pretty much to the middle. I did go in uh, once and kind of try to pull some of it back out a little bit, but it's still centered. So we're going to see what this looks like and then see what I think I need to do to make it like my happy place. <laughs> Ooh, and see if I can get those stamps out of there. Feels very, uh, ooh, very shallow. Ooh, that's all I can do is say, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, goodness gracious. Yes, I'm a little scared to go for these because these, okay, that one's not too bad. Okay. Don't want to damage my stamps because I like them. Oh, that one's right there. All right. Yay. <gasps> it just look it just looks so scary to do this. But nope, here they are. They're right here. Oh, yay. So far so good. It's very, very uh subtle, isn't it? I'm trying to just like get a little poke under and then lift them off. You're gone, you're gone, okay. How about you? Oh, same thing here. Boy, I don't know why in, in my vision, it just looks like these are buried under the resin. Ooh. Nope, that's so pretty. All right, all right, Miss Thing, your turn. Miss Thing, wow, it's so cool because I really thought I was gonna have to dig into the resin to get them out. Was that everything? No, I have one more up here. 
There we go. Yay! Wow, okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, wow. Now I have to decide, do I want to put a color on the back or do I just want to leave it clear and maybe put a little bit of color in here, you know, to fill these little spaces up? Not color, not color, clear. Like just, just enough clear to kind of fill these up and oh, I feel right there. But I think that is really pretty. Why are the lights so glaring? Eh, go away. My goodness. There. Isn't that subtly beautiful? It is. I agree. <laughs> See if I put a little color behind here. Oh, I know what I was thinking about last night. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to mix up a little bit of uh, resin. And I am going to do three colors to get a little C background there. And... Oh, I love this. Oh, it's mm -hmm. so precious. And I got them all out, right? I got to make sure. I got all these little rocks here. So yeah, I think I'm going to go back here and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fill these in later, but right now, I'm just going to stick it, try to stick it back in. This mold is not true. Oh yeah, because this side right here is bent over and so that's this side. But maybe I could get it in here tight enough that when I add the other resin it will not squeak down in there. But the colors are going to be very subtle. So if it does, it does. But hopefully it won't. And then I don't have to worry about containing everything in a dome. Oh my goodness. I have never done one of these like this, and you know what? I think I am in love with this. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yes. Okay, you can hear my voice, but can you see me? <laughs> All right. I am ready. And am I? Ah, uh, time out for uno momento. Okay. <laughs> I had to find my sand because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have several layers of color on this. And it's going to go light to dark, but sand at the bottom with um, a little bit of the red gold color which is metallic pigment from who knows who. I don't know who. I'm going to put a, quite a bit of that because then I'm going to take my white sand here and scoop in some white sand. This is way too much color. Uh, way too much. Because I can already tell you I don't think I need this much on here. I need a baby. There we go. A little tiny tongue depressor. Because I want to make this sand like a golden sand. Because it's my ocean after all. And my ocean would have behind this little cute fairy some sand like this. Yep. Just like that. She would be down at the bottom hanging with her friends. And her mom and dad would be like, when are you coming home? She'd be like, I'm busy playing with my friend. Okay. <laughs> Carla, Carla, Carla. Carla, Carla, Carla. You'd be slightly crazy. And I think there's too much color. I, I don't need this much for these. I need dark 
blue in here because the darker at the bottom the better and let me real quick get this kind of tilted up put this little stick in there I just want to tilt it up a little bit because I don't want the sand to come all the way up. Not even working. Oh, not even a good idea. All right, I'll just sit here and hold it <laughs> while I grow a third hand out of my uh, somewhere. Okay, I want because I do want to get the colors mixed up, and I know I have way too much in these cups because it's not going to need that much. And so for this next one, I'm going to do some sky blue. And then, oh yes, uh, yeah. And then I have some alcohol ink, uh, cobalt, cobalt blue, maybe. I don't know if I can get this bottle open. <laughs> I think I got shut in the resin. Yeah, nope, we're not working with that baby. So, okay, so then for this last one, I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight <laughs> drops of yellow. And to that, I'm going to add some of the sky blue. Just a drop first. Just come on, let go. Let go of your lid. Thank you. Okay, we just want to. I don't want it to be green, but green is okay, as long as the color is lighter at the top. Mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 more blue. And Let's see here. Uh, it's still green. It, very, 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 very green. Okay, so let's get some more blue in here. This might not even, I might not even use this right now because. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe I'll do it this way. Yes, yes, yes. I'll do it this way. So I'll do the dark blue down here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do the green. I already stirred you up. And then I'll do this baby blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. You didn't get stirred up yet. Okay, sorry. I got all excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, should it go this way? Green, blue, baby blue, green at the bottom. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna tilt it, and grab it, put my rest my hand on the sand, and add some green down here. some blue here and this light 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 blue here you know I might need more resin let's see let's see all right so I'll get all of this out of this little weird cup that likes to suck up your resin in those little tiny grooves. Yeah, okay. And then we have more blue here. Yeah, okay. Alright, I am going to just make this like magic. Because I love magic. And then I'm going to put some of this light green here. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. There we go. That's going to tie it all in together. OK, 
Okay, before I do one more thing, I need to put the lid back on this. I can't waste product. Alright, oh, here we go. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Let me give it some swirls. And some swirls up, and some swirls down. Oh, yeah. Okay, and is there enough resin in this? Is there? <sighs> so I need to move these out of my way. I'm done with these. Now... Let me push my little darling here all the way up here. Oh, I got a lot of resin left. That's good. That's good. That's good. I got some color there. All right. So now, here we go. Here we go. I've been working on this, and I have a green and gold and green glitter. I put some silver on there. I put some, my scorpion head on the skull. No, skull head on the scorpion body with my little tombstone that says be right back and that's me I'll be right back alright let me squish my gloves oh, my gloves just feel so squishy sticky alright so now ooh, let me use this. dry off my gloves now I'm going to take some of this clear and I'm going to pour it all a lot into here. Uh, I might need more. I probably need more. And then I'm going to take teensy weensy bits of this. Of this. Sorry. Oh, okay, maybe the thing is just too close. So you can kind of see better what I'm doing. I don't know. I have these little tiny glitter bobs here that I love. Glitter. Like little slivers of glitter. That when you put them in your project. They just leave tiny little glints of light. And like I don't. I don't want too much. So I'll stop right now. Can add more, but it's hard to take away, right? Right? Yes. Yes. I just want a little bit in there. And I'm gonna fill, pour this into my bed. Is not enough. No, it is not enough. I need more. So. Let's quit being fussy. Let's just pour this in here. And I need it to come almost to the top. I got all those bubbles. But I invited when I did that silly little plop plop pour. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. But I just want that little bit of glitter hanging around. And it's so lightweight that it just kind of flits. Now the reason... Oh, I just thought of something. Oh no. Let me take some of this out. Because when I submerge my skull... My skeleton. I always call them skeletons because it's a skull, but it's a skeleton. It's a skeleton skull. When I submerge that, I want to make sure there's enough room left for me <laughs> to add some gravel, some dirt, some rocks, sand, whatever. Yeah, I don't want this, because here I have taken my skull that I made. And I stuck it on my skeleton as a head. And then I have my be right back. Be right back. 
thing there. Now let me see here. Oh, my nose itches. Chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna go in like this. Go in like this. I'm trying to get. There we go. And then I'm gonna set it right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. There we go. I did, uh, I'll show you right now. Can you see the little tiny pieces? I put three pieces of this popsicle stick. I broke it up into slivers. Slivers, I slivered it up. And I put one on the Be Right Back tombstone. And I put three on the skeleton and this uh, skull and the scorpion. And because I want it to sit where that is perfect. But I do need to now let this sit for a while. I need to let it sit and then I will put in, put my last layer of stone in there. Okay, well, I am going to, um, I've been messing around, waiting for this stuff to get ready. Um, I just put the second or last final layer on the pyramid. And this one now, I think it's ready to unmold and see what I need to do to the front. If I need to do anything to the front. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this came out so cute. Oh, I think I do need to put um, a very thin layer of clear on the front, but I don't think it would hurt anything to actually like touch up maybe the blue, maybe put some different colors in there. Um, I think this is just adorable exactly the way it is except for I would like to see just like a little bit a mm, little bit more definition in the color so before I put in the um, the last little bit of resin on top I think I'm going to use my I'm going to sneeze hold on here I go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I am going to put a little more color on the mermaid's... Um, maybe I'll do a little purple. Just a little bit. Let's see here. You can probably hear my resin machine in there. And they're just cooking away. I think that's a little bit more pizzazz right there. And I think the fish need a little something. Like a little electric color. Like yellow or orange. Orange goes very well. Like a goldfish. So we're going to put a little bit of, just a little bit more color in here. Mm. 
Not too much. So I think, I think it's good. I am going to do just a little bit of this up in that green floating stuff up there. Just give it a little bit of something else. Okay. Maybe a little yellow on the jellyfish. Maybe. Why, why is this yellow so puffy to the top? My goodness. Stop. Time to stop. <laughs> oh, it takes me so long to get this stuff done. Alright, so now I'm just going to... Uh, <gasps> now I'm just going to put a little bit of top coat in this and uh, be back when it's totally, totally done. Okay? Hi. Okay, we're back. I'm back. And this is ready. And I already put the top coat on. And you know what? Except for the fact that this mold was... Uh, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. How the mold was wonky. Doesn't matter. Look how cute this is. Look at this. It is so cute. It is unbelievable. I am so happy with this. <laughs> so happy with this this is so cute so cute i jeez uh, never made one and i didn't know how this was going to turn out and i'm just thrilled i'm just going to let that just keep curing yay and then i did a dirty pour on this butterfly i had some resin left after i filled in this and filled in my um Pyramid. I have a little bit left, and so I added some color to it, and did a dirty pour, just because I love dragonflies, and what does it look like on the screen? So anyway, that's that, and with the leftover of the dirty pour, and the scraping of glasses and uh, <laughs> begging on the street corner for extra resin. I got this enough to get this little butterfly done. Yeah, okay. And it's cute. And these are always cute because the, the, the color shifting on there, it just is magic. It's a magic and it's a butterfly. It's got a little bit of a overflow. Just a teeny, teeny bit, <laughs> but I like it. I like the back of it too. That looks like a sweater you would wear in the fall, doesn't it? The colors, I like it a lot. All right, uh, yeah, I had extra. I've never made this mold before. I've never tried to demold it before either, so. I don't know how to start. I don't know how to do it. Uh, probably like that. Okay. Get one little boob up out at a time. Yep. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I thought, okay, I'm going to make a Christmas one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just saw the front of it. It's so cute. I put pink, pink gray in there. 
Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, my goodness. Let me set it down so I'm not moving it around. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's the Let's Rise in Pink um, glitter powder. Yeah, glitter powder. Where I put my after pours. You know, when I'm all done, I've had, you know, these colors. And then so I thought I'm finishing it tonight. And the only thing you didn't see me do is uh, come in and do the final, the final little coat, the <clears throat> popsicle sticks came right off, right off. It was no problem whatsoever. Ooh, okay. I've never made one of these before. I've never made one and I've always wanted one. <gasps> oh yes, hello. <gasps> Oh, he's got bubbles in his eyes, and it makes it look like his eyeballs are still there. What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, my goodness. What did I do? Oh, probably because I moved this. I have a little hole there. Can you guys see it? It has my, what, my, what is wrong with this side? Is that mold just cheap and has junk on it? Because I thought I washed it off. Anyway, it's got my little um, tombstone. It says, be right back. I got to get this where you can see this. Yeah, here we go. Pretty good. Yeah. See the little tombstone in there? It says, be right back. And that's the skeleton's head on top. Now see this, what am I gonna have to do, Sandix? See, it's sitting on top of the scorpion, but you can't really see it because, oh, it got powder on there. Wait, I washed it really well though, popsicles. Well, I guess maybe I'm gonna have to sand it. Ooh, yuck. Oh, yuck. Send it down a little bit. Because other than that, that you can't really see it. I can see it, like from here. But I can also see the over glare. Can you see his eyes, though? Let me get it. <gasps> look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, my God. Look at his eyes. There's bubbles in the eye sockets that make it look exactly like eyeballs and the one on that side is kind of hanging out a little bit oh my god okay look. okay oh <laughs> i really like this this is silly okay thank you for being here and i hope that you enjoyed this and um give me a thumbs up if you don't mind this is so cute this is so cute it's it's cute like this and it's also cute like oops get it out of the light there we go look at that it's so precious oh <laughs> it's so cute okay guys be kind to one another most of all be kind to yourself Try to find 30 minutes a day just to put your feet up, hide from everybody, <laughs> lock yourself in the bathroom, you know, whatever it takes to get 30 minutes to yourself, to just sit and think or listen to music or whatever your ideal getaway is. Just 30 minutes a day, just take care of yourself, okay? I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon on the next video, which I'm already working on. Okay, see you soon. And they're hang up. <laughs> I can't get it to go off. <laughs>